When do I become a tax resident in South Africa? Becoming a tax resident in South Africa is a crucial consideration for any foreigner looking to live and work in South Africa. As a tax resident, you will be required to pay tax on your worldwide income, which includes income earned in your home country or any other country you've lived in. Let's discuss the key factors that determine when you become a tax resident in South Africa. You may still be classified as a tax resident if you are deemed to be an ordinary resident in South Africa. This test is a subjective one and it takes into account a range of factors, such as the length of time you have lived in South Africa, the duration and purpose of your visits, your employment status and income, the location of your family and personal belongings, and your social and economic ties to South Africa. If you are deemed to be an ordinary resident in South Africa, you are required to pay tax on your worldwide income, even if you are in the country for less than 183 days a year. The Physical Presence Test The Physical Presence Test is another way of determining tax residency in South Africa. This test takes into account the total number of days you spend in the country during a tax year, regardless of whether you are a citizen or ordinary resident. If you spend more than 91 days in South Africa in each of the current and previous five years, and more than 915 days in total over those five years, you will be classified as a tax resident. Tips for foreigners immigrating to South Africa If you are a foreigner planning to move to South Africa, here are some tips to help you understand the tax residency rules. Keep track of the days you spend in South Africa, as this will help you determine whether you are a tax resident in South Africa or not. Consider obtaining professional advice from a tax consultant or immigration lawyer to ensure that you fully understand your tax obligations. If you are a non-resident, make sure that you understand your tax obligations in your home country, as you may be required to pay tax on your South African income as well. Keep track of your income and expenses, as this will help you when filing your tax returns. Risks that must be considered. It's crucial to note that failing to comply with South African tax laws can result in severe consequences. This includes penalties, fines, and even criminal charges in some cases. Therefore, it's essential to understand the criteria for tax residency and ensure that you comply with all the relevant tax laws. Guidance to consider. If you're considering moving to South Africa, it is advisable to seek professional advice from a tax consultant or immigration lawyer. They can guide you through the process of becoming a tax resident so that you understand all the tax obligations that you will have in South Africa. How long the process may take. The process of becoming a tax resident in South Africa varies depending on your circumstances. It is advisable to seek professional advice to get an accurate idea of how long the process may take. Compliance with South African tax laws is essential and failure to comply can result in severe consequences. In conclusion, becoming a tax resident of South Africa is an important consideration for any foreigner planning to live and work in the country. By understanding the criteria of tax residency, you can ensure that you are fully compliant with South African tax laws and avoid any penalties. Remember to keep accurate records, seek professional advice and if necessary, stay updated on any changes to current tax laws. Some frequently asked questions we commonly get. Do I need to pay tax on my worldwide income if I am a tax resident in South Africa? Yes, as a tax resident of South Africa, you are required to pay tax on your worldwide income. What happens if I fail to comply with South African tax laws? Failing to comply with South African tax laws can result in penalties, fine, and even criminal charges in some cases. Can I rely on the physical presence test to determine my tax residency? Yes, the physical presence test is one of the ways to determine tax residency in South Africa.